Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. This video is the stiff neck routine from my book, Yoga Fitness for Men. So today we're going to go through a yoga sequence designed to relieve neck stiffness. This is going to focus on your full body though, so not just your neck, because your whole body is interconnected and we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to release whatever is the root cause of that neck tension. So we're going to be working on your neck, obviously, but we're also going to be working on your core, your shoulders, your spine, and also on your hips. The only equipment you need for this is a yoga mat and potentially a yoga strap or a belt or uh, some sort of rope, uh, and that's optional. So let's get started. We're going to start off with a child's pose. So go ahead and bring the knees wide, big toes touch, <sighs> keep your torso nice and long, walk your arms out in front of you. Try to keep your back flat and relax your forehead on the ground. This is the first step of relieving neck pain, getting your spine back into a neutral position, starting to re-engage your core. So we want to feel the abs engaging here. Keep the forehead relaxed. Keep your neck in a straight line. So make sure that you're not letting your chin touch the floor. You're not letting the top of the head touch the floor, but your forehead so that your neck is in line with the rest of your spine. Again, focusing on tightening the abs here, that's actually going to help relieve pressure on the spine, which is which your neck is a part of. And start breathing nice and slow in and out of the nose. Two more deep breaths here. And then from child's pose, we're going to move into a plank. So hands under your shoulders, lift up your hips, tighten your core, squeeze your hands and your feet toward one another, and pull your neck toward the ceiling. So we're pulling the neck up and looking slightly forward. This is really important for helping to relieve neck tension because we're starting to strengthen the neck in a way that it typically doesn't do lots of movement during the day. So we spend a lot of time rounding the neck, looking down at our phones. Instead, now we're going to look slightly forward or slightly up to help strengthen those muscles in the back of your neck. Just 10 more seconds here. Make sure you're keeping your abs tight, engaging your core, strengthening your abs is going to help relieve tension in the back and the spine particularly. And then go ahead and release your upper body all the way to the ground. We're going to move into a sphinx from here. So flip your feet, press the tops of your feet into the ground, squeeze your legs together, tighten your abs and your hips, bring your forearms to the ground, parallel to one another, shoulder width distant, and then lift your chest up, mostly using your hip and your core strength here. So we're not relying on pushing down through the forearms to get this lift. It's actually mostly coming through the hips and the core. Your arms are just helping to support this. And then we want to pull the neck toward the back, chin toward the throat. So we're making a nice arch with your back, with your spine. And again, this is the exact opposite of what we tend to do during the day, which is sitting inactively with our neck rounded forward. So this is helping, by doing the opposite, we're helping to relieve that tension. We're going to hang out here for one more deep breath. And then go ahead and release back down. And from here, moving it into a thread the needle. So we're going to slide back to a child's pose, kind of like we were in before. Bring your arms out in front of you. Relax your forehead on the ground. Keep your arms active. And then slide your right hand through your left hand and your left knee. Allow the right shoulder to relax on the ground. Turn over to look toward the left. And then lightly pull that right shoulder back toward the right. Make sure that your head is relaxed on the ground. So the right side of your head is resting on the mat. And then again, lightly pulling the right shoulder toward the right. You should feel some stretching in the upper back here on your right side. And we're also getting a nice little twist, a supported twist through the neck, which is again going to help with relieving that tension because it's something that we don't typically do throughout the day. Take two more breaths here.
and then go ahead and switch sides. So right hand straightens out, left hand comes through the right hand and the right knee, outside of the left shoulder on the ground, lightly pull that left shoulder back toward the left, press the back of your left arm into the ground, and look over toward the right. Again, we're working on little twists of the neck, stretching the left upper back, and also getting, maybe getting a twist through, a little twist through the spine. And hold it. So it's important that you actually hold the stretch for at least 30 seconds. Your body needs more than just 10 seconds to adjust to it. So that's why if it seems like we're holding this for a long time, that's why. It's because we need to hold it for a long time for something to happen. One more breath here. All right, and then back to tabletop from here, and we're gonna move into some cat-cow. So cat-cow is a really good spinal mobility exercise, moving from an arched to a rounded position. So inhaling to arch your back, lifting your chest, aiming your sternum forward, lifting your butt, and then exhaling to round, upper back coming toward the ceiling, chin pulling toward your chest, looking back between your legs. Again, inhale to arch, chest dips down, sternum looking forward, lengthening the back of your neck and then slowly looking up and exhaling to round. Head pulling toward your hips, upper back pulling toward the ceiling and abs really tightening here to protect the spine. Three more on your own pace. Try to make them at least four or five second inhales and four or five second exhales. As you're moving through this, you want to breathe the whole time. So if you notice that you're holding your breath at the bottom or maybe at the top, try to bring that breath in a little more slowly or exhale a little more slowly. One more of these. Exhale, squeeze it out. Tighten the abs, tuck the chin, look back. All right, and then from here we're gonna move up into a standing position, coming into a mountain pose. So your mountain pose is your basic standing position in yoga. It's basically standing up with perfect posture. Toes touch, heels about an inch apart, press down through your feet, relax your chin toward your throat, press the top of your head toward the ceiling. Reach your tailbone lightly down, so you wanna just tighten your hips, tighten your core a little bit, and then turn your palms forward. So if you look at me from the side, you'll notice that my neck is pulling backward and my chin is relaxing toward my throat. There's a natural S curve to your spine. You wanna reinforce that in mountain. Stay as tall as you can still though and try to keep awareness through your core. So just standing with perfect posture is a really good way to relieve neck pain. One more breath here. And then from here, standing back bend. So if you need a strap to help bring your hands overhead, bring the strap up, hold it between your arms, overhead like this, and then reach up and back, squeezing your arms as far back as possible, lifting your sternum toward the ceiling, and looking lightly up at the ceiling. So getting a nice consistent arch all the way from the mid back up through the back of your head or through your neck. Again, arms squeeze back, and if you don't need a strap here, you can throw the strap aside and interlace the fingers overhead, index fingers pointing up, and squeeze back. Just 10 more seconds here, and this is strengthening the muscles in your spine, or surrounding your spine. You should also feel your abs tight, and you should, shouldn't feel any pinching in your lower back here. If you do, avoid arching the lower back. That usually solves that problem and then come back to neutral. Go ahead and release your hands down. And from here, moving into a standing side bend. So if you have that strap and you need it, hold it overhead again, about shoulder width distant with the strap. Breathe in, lift up. And as you exhale, lightly lean toward the right, press your hips toward the left. So you're making a banana shape with your body here. Keep your neck pulling toward the back. Try to keep your your spine neutral here. So if you notice that you're overly arching your back to compensate in order to get your arms up, try to arch your back less and focus on squeezing your arms back a little bit more. 
This is a lot of, you'll feel a lot of core engagement in this strap, in this exercise. And you're going to feel a lot of stretching. So you should feel stretching from the left hip here all the way up through the left shoulder. And again, you're going to feel your core tighten as you hold this position. Stay really tall here. You've got one more deep breath. All right, back to the middle. If you want to hold the strap, continue to hold the strap. If you don't want the strap, go ahead and put the strap down. Breathe up, get tall. And exhale, lean toward the left now. Hips come toward the right. Again, staying really tall. So we want to remember height first and then depth. So make your body as tall as possible and then exhale to work deeper into the bend. Again, breathing in and out of the nose, keeping it really controlled. and engage. So this isn't a passive stretch. We want to feel the core tight here. We want to feel the muscles working. We are feeling a stretch, but it's supported by active muscle engagement. Maybe going a little bit deeper with the exhale. Last 10 seconds, one big breath. And then bring it back to the middle. Go ahead and release your hands and move into a, into a high lunge from here. So take a big step back with your left foot, knee is over at your ankle and your right foot. Squeeze your legs toward one another, pull your ribs up away from your hips. So we really want to make sure that the core is tight and engaged here. Creating that extra length by lifting the ribs away from the hips helps with that. And then bring your arms up. If you feel like you're bringing your shoulders way up next to your ears or, or really high up, then just bend your arms a little bit. We don't want to create any, uh, create any additional tension in the neck. One more breath here. Go ahead and release your arms. Step your left foot up and step your right leg back. High lunge opposite side. Again, legs squeeze toward one another. Pull the ribs up. Make your torso nice and tall. Bring the arms up. Bend the elbows to help relax the shoulders. And just breathe in and out of the nose here. As you exhale, try to tighten your abs. As you inhale, maybe get a little bit taller. And you're also going to feel a stretch through the front of the right hip here. So believe it or not, stretching your hips is going to help release tension in your spine. And that's actually going to help release tension in the neck as well. One more breath. All right, and then stand back up. Back into mountain pose from here to half sun salutations. So palms facing forward. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, take it into a forward fold. Bend your knees, hinge at your hips. Bring your hands either to the ground or to a block. If you feel like you're rounding your back or if it's uncomfortable to go all the way down. And then tuck your chin toward your throat. Look behind you. Inhale to a half lift, so use that block. Press the top of your head forward. Try to make an L shape with your body here. And then exhale and fold back down. <sighs> Squeezing your thighs, tightening your abs. And then inhale, drop your hips down just a little bit. Reach your arms forward, lift all the way up. And then exhale, hands back to center or arms along your sides. One more of those. Inhale back up. Exhale and fold. Hinge at the hips. Keep your back as flat as you can. Bend your knees. Tuck the chin. Look behind you. Inhale to a half lift. Hands come up the shins or you can use that block. Exhale and fold. Keeping the knees bent so you can focus on a nice stretch through the hamstrings, through the backs of your thighs. And then sit down just a bit. Inhale, reach your arms forward, lift all the way up. And release your hands along your sides, back into mountain pose. Nicely done. From here, runner's lunge twist. Take a big step back with your left foot. Bring your hands on either side of your right foot. If you have a block, bring the block inside your left foot and lightly rest your left hand on that block. From here, lengthen your torso. Reach your right arm up and start to twist open to the right. Looking up at the ceiling, 
pressing your right hip toward the ground to keep your hips square. And here we're getting a nice twist through the spine. So we're looking all the way up at the hand. We're using that block for support. Maybe just hand on the ground if you don't have a block or if you have a little bit more hip mobility. Just one more breath here. This is a quick one. And then release the right hand down. Go ahead and step back up into mountain. And switch sides. Big step back with your right foot now. You want your feet just about six inches apart, so about hip width distant. Bring your block inside your left foot now. Rest your right hand on the block. Try to make a straight line from your back heel to your head. So again, torso stays nice and long. We're not letting the torso round forward, but keeping it upright. And then reach your left arm up. Twist your body open to the left. Go ahead and look up at your left hand. So we're also getting a twist to the spine here. Squeezing your left hip, pushing down through the left heel so you feel your left hip, your glute engage. And then again, pulling your chest forward so you're making your spine nice and long. And just giving this one more breath. Again, this is a quick one. And then go ahead and release. Step back up, back in the mountain. Nice job. From here, take a wide stance. So turn sideways on your mat. Bring a block between your feet, right in the middle. Press into the outer edges of your feet. Tighten your thighs, tighten your abs. Hinge at your hips once more. So keeping your back flat. Bring your hands to the block at first, maybe bending your knees if you need to in order to keep your back flat. And pull your chest forward. So we're going to work on actually pulling your chest forward and lengthening your spine initially. So kind of like you were doing a plank from your waist all the way up. So abs are tight. We're feeling stretching through the backs of the thighs. We're keeping our ankles active. And then from here, go ahead and fold a little bit lower. So use an exhale. Maybe bringing your hands to the ground. If you want, you can also bend your knees to get your hands closer to the ground, or just keep using that block if that is what makes this stretch comfortable. And then go ahead and tuck your chin toward your throat. Tighten your abs like you're doing an ab exercise, like you're doing a crunch. And just hold this for one breath. All right, and then start to pull your chest forward. Bring your hands back to your hips, and then come all the way back up to standing. <sighs> Bring your feet back together, and from here into a tree pose. So stand on your right leg. Bring your left foot either to the inside of your right calf, or all the way up above the knee to the inside of your right thigh. Press firmly into the thigh. Externally rotate your left hip so that the knee is driving to the outside. Woo, make sure you can balance. Press down through your right heel, stand up nice and tall here. Again, hips are squared forward as much as possible. And go ahead and bring your arms up, like your arms are branches. That's why it's called a tree. And just stay nice and tall here. We're just here for about two deep breaths. So helping to balance, actually working on balancing, strengthens your thighs, it strengthens your core, and that actually helps to relieve tension in the neck. So that's why we're doing a balancing pose here. Again, stand up tall. You want to feel your left glute engaging, driving that knee, squeezing it to the outside, and lots of firm engagement through the right leg. Nice and tall through your hips, through your ribs. Go ahead and release down. Plant the left foot. Same thing, other side. Again, put the right foot inside your left calf or all the way above the knee. Make sure that you're not putting your foot into the knee itself. So if you can, bring it all the way up. Again, squeeze the knee to the outside. So you're squeezing your right knee to the outside, but keeping your hip squared forward. Driving down through the left heel, through the ball of the foot, squeezing your left thigh, maybe pressing the hips lightly forward, and then bringing your arms up, and just holding here for a couple of deep breaths. Feeling this in your core, your hips, definitely the standing leg, and also through the hip of the lifted leg. One more breath. And then go ahead and release that foot down and move back to the floor into a plank. Just a couple poses to go. So again, with the plank focusing on the core strengthening and the spine strengthening, squeeze your hands toward your feet, feet back toward your hands. 
Look slightly forward and pull your neck toward the ceiling. Just two breaths here. And go ahead and release all the way down onto your chest. From here into a cobra. Flip your feet, press the tops of your feet into the ground, squeeze your thighs together, press your pubic bone into the floor, and lift your chest away from the ground just using your core and your hip strength. So your hands aren't lifting up here, or your hands are not pushing into the ground. You're using your hips to lift your torso. Squeeze your elbows back and up. And just five seconds here, moderate to maximum intensity. Five, four, three, two, neck up, and release. From here into a down dog. So easiest way to down dog, go back to a plank, bend your knees, and then hike your hips up and back. Make a V shape with your body. This might be difficult at first, so I recommend practicing this if you haven't done it before, but let's do our best here. Squeeze your feet toward your chest. Engage your thighs, so try to squeeze your quadriceps, squeeze your hip flexors. Lift your butt up and try to aim your tailbone at the ceiling. You want to feel engagement through your thighs, stretching through the backs of your, of your legs and your hamstrings and your calves, and also some opening through the shoulders. Tuck your chin toward your throat, so your neck is actually releasing here, which is why we put this pose in this routine. Yes, this is a full body exercise, but it's really nice for allowing your neck to release. So chin relaxed toward the throat, head just kind of hanging here. You can move your head, turn it from side to side, you know, shake your head yes, shake your head no, and just let it release. All right, and then from here, go ahead and release your knees down, and from here, Moving into our final pose, a reclined twist. So flip over onto your back. Bring your knees over your hips. Arms straight out to the sides. Bring your legs over to the right. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Pull the left side of your body toward the ground, so tightening your obliques, tightening your rib cage. Left arm is out to the side. And then look all the way over to the left. And we're just going to hold this for about three breaths here. If you want to hold it for longer because you're feeling a really nice stretch, then you can hold it for longer. You can always press pause. Again, so active through the left side of the body, feeling a stretch from the lower back, maybe up through the mid back. Maybe also feeling a stretch through the chest if your chest is tight. And then bring it back to the middle and switch sides. So legs over to the left now, left hand on top of the right knee, right arm out to the side, look all the way over to the right. Lengthen your torso, so get as tall as you can from your hips to the top of your head. And again, tightening the right side of your body. That's going to help get a deeper stretch through the back, through your spine. And remember, everything's interconnected. So stretching your lower back is definitely going to help your neck. Stretching the hips is going to help the neck. Strengthening the core, engaging the muscles in your core. That all will help with, with neck, either directly or indirectly. All right, and then bring your legs back to the middle. And go ahead and sit up. So that is it. That is the full body work for stiff neck relief. All right, if you enjoyed that video, I want to invite you to take my free seven day challenge. This is a beginner's yoga for men workout series featuring 15 minute workouts and daily emails to help hold you accountable and motivated. This is a great way to learn yoga to get started and it's totally free. Sign up at the first link in the description below. When you sign up, I'm also going to give you a free bonus video, a previously members only workout called Head and Neck Essentials. This is a 25 minute workout that's perfect for relieving tension in your head, neck, and shoulders. Useful for pretty much any situation. So go ahead and sign up for that seven day challenge. Do it right now. Click that link in the description. I'll wait. And if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. We put out new videos every week. 
And if you like the video, be sure to like the video, click the like button, and leave a comment if you have any feedback or questions. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you in the next video.